Help. I can't stand my husband's plan to befriend our terrible mega neighbors. So this is like a horror story for them. The, the way that they describe it, my husband and I recently moved into a rural neighborhood. Our house was the last to be built, and the other people, all retired, uh, live there with their dogs, and we have an established social circle. Within a couple months, one couple, the Smiths begin having issues with the Joneses. Ooh. The Smiths explained that the rest of us would no longer socialize with the Joneses because they were causing dun, 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 discord in the neighborhood. Not discord. This, which is the name of the uh, the horror movie, Discord in the Neighborhood. The other couples pulled back from the Joneses based on the Smiths resort report, and I have no desire to socialize with the Joneses either. But because of their beef with the Smiths, and not because of the beef with their Smiths. It's because of their politics. Mr. Jones regularly wears a mega hat. Both he and his wife have espoused mildly racist views. They're against illegal immigration. Oof. The Smiths, the Jones. I don't like Star in Discord in the <laughs> neighborhood. So this woman's re she, she basically goes. They live in a community that's like all all people like them, and then there's one guy that like likes Trump, and they're having a fucking yeah, meltdown. meltdown and they're like, we didn't move to South Carolina from New York City to have to deal with <laughs> Trump supporters. And you go, what? Oh, yeah, I don't like this stuff. But also, it's like they're it's like their fancy boy gated community too. So it's like the <laughs> yeah, classic. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. How does he afford to get in here? <laughs> and probably, then, probably owns slaves. Yeah, he probably <laughs> fucking owns slaves. Some family owned a plantation of slaves. It's the only stuff. explanation. So there's this one mega guy that lives in the neighborhood, and they're having a fucking meltdown. About loves it. Tucker. Loves it all. Hannity. Right. Mildly is racist views. They don't even say what they are. Right. Yeah. Oh, this guy likes Hannity. And then her husband was like well whatever everyone everyone's giving this guy the side eye this and you know just no one will talk to this guy he's like you know uh the worst guy in the yeah, world to them, right? and then the dad says he's like well whatever we could talk to them and the wife goes she doesn't want him crossing the picket lines to go talk to the trump guy yeah yeah um, my husband feels sorry for them because you know for example i'm writing articles about them and no one in the <laughs> article where we go piss in his <laughs> we go piss in his pool every day but nothing's changed well he just wants to be a good neighbor you know he wants to be a good neighbor, even if he doesn't. Go. Or the dad's just like, fine, I can talk to like someone that doesn't yeah, want to hear yeah, fucking. Yeah, he goes, finally, like, I'm not <laughs> bad shit with all this stuff. I just need to talk to someone who's not like. Telling me how racist everything yeah, is. Yeah, all the time. He goes, it's just finally a normal person. Yeah, he might. So maybe the dad's just like, would love to talk to him, but he can't tell the wife. Like, yeah, I definitely disagree with him. But like, we kind of just, he's into golf and yeah. I wouldn't mind so talking to someone about mm, golf. And he does have some good points about race and IQ, though. But yeah. <laughs> the other guys, uh, you know, I love hanging out with your friends and talking about how racist everyone is but would be nice to just talk about the game with uh yeah you know well i think it's laudable he wants to be a good neighbor i'm not sure if i could stomach hanging out with them so basically it's like the dinner discord in the neighborhood oh, the that'd dinner that'd be very awkward dinner i'm prone to speak my mind and I do not tolerate bullying or hate. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy to be like, I don't tolerate bullying. You have an entire community that is ostracized <laughs> one guy. <laughs> you go, For his political beliefs. <laughs> you go, you have an entire community that there's one family and no one will talk to them. Who is probably there first. Your husband wanted to say hi to them, and you're like, not a chance. Yeah. You, they basically... <laughs> Ryan, they're racist. And then she goes, I'm against... She goes, I'm very against bullying. <laughs> So he's bullying because he's fucking, you know, he wants them to build the wall or whatever, yeah. right? My husband said we should have them over for dinner as a compromise once. And I said, I would try to not be too outspoken if we did it, but if they bring up their racist or homophobic ideologies, she, she's not going to be a happy camper at that dinner. Yeah. <laughs> she goes, should I put my foot down and tell my husband no? Or should I wear a pride shirt and talk about our wonderful, inclusive, accepting church? Uh... And my POC friends. <laughs> this girl's religious. Yeah, yeah she's all, well, they're probably all are. But the thing that's for sure bullshit is that she if goes, they, were, no, if they were truly racist, they wouldn't have, like, if they go, hey, the neighbors, I don't want to have them over for dinner. They're literally burning a cross yeah, of course. on their lawn. Like, I don't, I'm not even trying to Well, like, she doesn't find said anything. She here. said mildly racist. But I'm saying, but if they thought they were really racist, they're like, yeah, we're not having dinner with the racist family. But more importantly, she goes, uh, 
the t-shirt and talk about my wonderful inclusive POC friends so imagine you have the Trump guy over and he sits there and you're just like the wife just sitting there so how are you guys doing oh just at my black <laughs> friend's <laughs> house yesterday <laughs> the husband's like no you don't you don't have any black friends he goes, Shut up. <laughs> and then I also know. I was talking to a trans person <laughs> is that a problem oh it's June did you know that that's gay pride month that would be a nightmare does that freak you out <laughs> anyways I uh, got some food here anybody want some rainbow mashed potatoes she has her adam and steve shirt on <laughs> that, yeah yeah she's just like so that would be a nightmare for the husband she had to make a political statement other than dinner of course he's just counting down the days until he dies he might be bad too though the dinner could be a bad idea he, he could come in with him he just you know hyped up off a mouth well that's Wall's the thing video. if you think that your like dinner is about to could potentially devolve into like some awkward shouting the match, question don't is, invite them over the question is how radical are both sides it sounds like the wife's radical the the, the guy all the information we have is that he has a Trump hat on. Yeah. Mildly racist views, though. I'm sure that wearing the hats mildly racist views. He just wears views. MAGA I would need more information about if this guy actually did anything super racist. Mildly racist views is for sure uh, just anti-immigration. Because she would just say you're racist, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Mildly racist views is like, what does that mean? Well, yeah, mildly racist views could mean basically just anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm siding with the MAGA guy. And then she goes... Uh, I'm, I'm on Team Jones. Well, the advice... Prudence has gone fucking nuts because dear Prudence, this is dear Prudence, and Prudence goes, yeah, definitely you shouldn't do it. Like, well, what about your POC friends? What would they think if you're having dinner with this racist mm. guy? And she goes, she needed no proof other than the Trump hat. So Prudence is like, yeah, agreed. Separate yourself. Never talk to anyone with the Trump yeah. hat for the rest of your Why life. Why don't you wear? I would wear the Biden hat if you really want to stir shit up. Is you wear your Biden hat? <laughs> you wear your Biden. He, hat. he wears the Trump hat, and then you just kind of have a, just a nice civil dinner. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> it's so funny. So yeah. you'd be like, so Mr. Jones, I guess you're bummed that slavery is still illegal. Of course you are. Yeah, you. Just a lot of leading scumbag. questions. You know, 